What is going on guys? I'm here with Jose from Team Full Combo. So Jose from Team Full Combo currently achieved um, first place at Golden Phoenix Games. And tell us Jose, what did you play for this tournament? I played again uh, in Paris Germain Blue. Um, it was a pretty good deck, it was pretty chilling. Uh, so you've been in, featured in this channel before, do you have any shout outs? I have shout outs to my boy, especially Dorkatron Prime, my boys from Team Full Combo, Mike, Danny, Tristan, and everybody else from there. Um, and especially to the car shop Golden Phoenix Games, who has been supporting the, the local communities, which is I love personally. Okay, and what was your record and how many people were attending this tournament? Um, I went undefeated. 6 all, um, 34 players, a pretty sizable event, and um, it was pretty good. Okay, so uh, let's get jumping into the deck profile. So if you can start us off with your uh, baby Digimon. So I have four Demi Vmons. The draw power of the deck, this, this card makes the deck a lot, a lot more playable. Because um, I always want to draw into my Progermons to help go for game. And the one card, the Demi Vimon, to help beat over Sarismon, um, other Imperial Dramons to help go for game. Because I don't want to clash, I always want to kill your Digimon. And if I'm playing Imperial Dramon green, 13 over 12 is better than 12 versus 12 and dying. Um, I play four Vimons. Uh, Vimon jamming. Uh, very very good card, especially combined with XVMon and Imperial Dramon. Pretty good card. Um, four of the low cost two drop Gomamons. Uh, pretty helps me extend into place where I need to put up where I could go with Vimon swing. Uh, play this and then play the blocker over it, so I could have the Vimon still playable for the next turn, or keep on keep on the Vimon viable. Uh, one of the MVPs on my deck for Gomamons. Gomamon with the under the blocker is uh, horrendous for my opponents because there's been times where they left, where there was zero and they will swing into my security or swing on one of my Digimon, I'll block and it pushes me back to one so then I could just go for game. Um, and even under Imperial Dramon, this card is really nutty because that forces them to already take care of it and I'm getting the extra memory. Might as well abuse it before I lose it, right? And then the two Elecmons, also other two drop Digimon to help go for game. Um, for Grizzlymon, obviously most people don't play blockers because they always want to go for aggro, but especially with Rookie Rush in this format, I kind of need the blockers in the game. And in tandem with the Vmon, I always need the blockers to help prevent the Vmon from dying because Vmon is free security. Why would I get? Why would I lose a free security Digimon when I could just have a blocker and protect it? Uh, three Grolamon. Grolamon is cheap, cheap one drop. Um, his six thousand, so at least he's able to be he's able to survive through uh, through a Alter S um, blow up. So might as well. That's why I have kind of have him in the deck, and also the cheap one drop. Uh, three Frigi. Frigi is also like a Vmon, so Imperial and and XV is like it makes this card really playable. Um, especially as a four drop, if I have no rookies, I just play this, give you the four. That's not gonna matter much as long as I get to a Imperial and Imperial. That won't matter as much. XV. I kind of wish I kind of had more of these, but you know, you always kind of come in prepared with what you got. Um, probably will switch the Frigid with the XV, but you know, kind of have to do what you gotta do. Four Pilgrimon. The main card. That I always want to write into. So since I'm running for this, I always want to draw cards. So that's why the Demi Vmon always comes in clutch. So that's why I play the Frigi to help also draw. Always drawing, drawing, drawing. It's good. Four Dino B. Um, very good against other matchups, especially against Rookie Rush, piercing and jamming, killing a Digimon, and also doing damage. And especially with Imperial, that's pretty nutty. Four Imperial Vmon Blue. I finally upgraded to the All Arts. This is my one of my favorite Digimons. Um, 
has helped me push for a game multiple times where I was able to swing for a 3, 4, 5 security in a turn. And most likely, if I swing for 3, 4, 5, you're most likely going to die. Um, especially with all these other Digimon. Two in Pergamon Dragon Mode. All arts, all you see. Um, especially good against Rookie Rush. Uh, Rookie Rush is a pain in my, so my side. But if I'm able to swing into your security, obviously the biggest thing that you might have is a puppet mind that's not gonna matter much. Obviously the Positron might mess me over, but I'm swing I'm killing your Digimon, I'm killing security. Alrighty guys. This card is really nutty. Four hammer spark, the main card that you need to play in your in any Imperial Digimon blue deck. Um, if you're not playing four, I don't know what's wrong. Um, you always wanna have extra memory because that one extra memory might determine if you got game or you lose the game. Um, one could kite this breath. Um, there's been times where, like, let's say, for example, I'm playing against a Craniumon. I kind of need to bounce it with a Ragnalord. Because Ragnalord with the blocker is really a pain in my side. Because um, Blue, Imperial Blue always has the trouble with black, especially since they have high count of blockers. Two Positron. Positron is one of, um, is my main go-to card. It's security. I don't know why, but it's a, it's a pain. In, it's a pain in people's sides. Um, it really, it really. Whenever people see it in the security, they're just like, "What the hell? This guy is, plays weird cards." But Positron is also a good card, especially since you're playing blue. So whenever you have to play it in security, it, you're always bouncing something that's suspended. If you have to play Dino Beam on, for example, you could just uh, swing, swing, or go into Imperial Drum on green. Swing and then play Positron. Stop your opponent from kill potentially killing you, and then you just kill them the next turn because it always gives you an extra turn to play. And then the other consistency card, which is Dave, is to help look for more cards to play. All right. So, is there anything you want to change about your deck? Um, so, since I recently just got the Omnimon, um, kind of pulled in my pulled this myself, so I might just cut the one in Bridgemont Green to play it, and. Um, I'll, I might just cut the one Frigimon, like stated previously, to play XV because XV has been cut, coming in clutch for me majority of the games, and there was times where I need, I kind of wanted to see it, but there, but I couldn't get to it, so I was like, eh, I have to do what I gotta do, but like, I kind of want the third XV mon. Okay, and what are the decks that you played against? So I played against Ragnarok Black, I mean Red, sorry, uh, round one, round two, it was. Uh, Red Omnimon Turbo, that was one of the most uh, difficult matchups, but I kind of did sack him with the Hammer Sparks, but even without the Hammer Spark, it was, it w he would have still been able to keep on playing, but that wouldn't have mattered as much. Round 3 was Imperial Mirror. Um, running Imperial Drum on Green helped me push for game majority of the time, because he, 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 um, he got level stuck, so he had to swing with his uh, Pale Drum and all that stuff, so, he had, so I was able to kill. Round four was a was a black Ragnar, one of my worst matchups. Surprised I was even able to win it. Um, my opponent just bricked and he couldn't get to Ragnar Lord, so it was really problematic for him. Um, Imper the fifth round was also another Imperial. Uh, Imperial, uh, it, it really depends on who draws better. Uh, he had to play the Pale Drummond, so I, was, I just took advantage of all that free memory that he gave me to where I was able to set up like two Imperial Drummond, uh, two. Uh, a Pale Drummond and a Dino Beamon combo, and also have a rookie set up for the next turn so I could just swing, 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 and go for game that one turn. Um, and my last round was a Sarismon. Uh, Sarismon, I don't know why, but he made me go first. It was fine, um, but, but um, he couldn't set up much, so I had to, like, uh, for game one, he couldn't set up much, so I had to do what I, what I needed to do swing, swing. Game two, it was more of back and forth, but. At the end of the day, the Positron saved me in the security and bouncing him back and stuff. Um, that'll be all. Okay, so um, Jose's also gone uh, about 5-0 in two different pro play games tournaments as well. Um, as topping the last two where he's actually lost only one round. Um, one match, I'm sorry. So, basically the deck is absolutely nuts. Um, it's very underrated and the way the deck plays is just very fluid. Uh, thank you guys for watching, I hope you liked it, I hope you guys subscribe.